Russia is picking off Ukraine's military facilities one after another. Uh, guys. What the fuck is going on? And there was no uh, looming threat of an invasion. And then, so we were really interested in kind of discovering Ukraine through the story of its president and then modern Ukraine. After the last four or five years of American politics, we had lost touch with something that we found they were in touch with, which was they had different opinions, they have different ways of life, but they all wanted to be better and they seemed very united in that goal. And so we fell in love with that. Unfortunately, just as we fell in love with it, somebody decided to, to invade it. It's not so much about what if Ukraine loses, because they won't, but if you imagine what it is if Russia wins, we are all fucked, just dead fucked. And so, and, I, and, and so, once you have them talking, they all have a lot to say. They have a lot of opinions. Um, and they all felt very connected to the government. They all felt very connected to the future of Ukraine. Whether it was a guy in the street with a placard or it was somebody in a think tank, they all felt like they were part of something. And um, that was really enlightening to us. It was really interesting. It's not just about war. It's they are the efforts to uh, 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 to 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 keep culture alive, to to play concerts, and and they are doing it, and they are taking the time to do it, and they have these extraordinary um, invincibility centers all over the country. A president, one of the president's program, where when the grid goes out, it's cold, but. They can go to these that have generators, get a little bit of warmth, get a little bit of tea.